everybody, welcome to the Dano channel. I am Dano and I'm back with another art video. This is my own personal artwork. This is video number four. This one is actually one of my favorites, like for real, no joke, one of my favorites. Um, it's really cool because it actually glows in the dark and it's got a lot of stuff going on. Now this was inspired by a calendar. I actually, when I was working at Walmart Pharmacy uh, in the early 2000s, um, I picked up this calendar that I really liked. And I, this is painted way later, but there's this calendar, it had this picture for October, it's kind of like a Day of the Dead thing, and it had this guitar right in the center, it had a hand with like a weird moon in the middle of it, and there was like a, a weird angel on the other side with like a, a heart in it, like a red heart. So I decided, I was like, I really like that, and I want to do my own version of it. So there's like this acoustic guitar, and actually I might have a screen print that I made of it. I don't have the original anymore, that calendar is long gone, and finding that image was like really hard. I tried looking for it years later and it was just nowhere to be found. So whoever did that piece, whatever it was, it inspired me to make my own. To kind of show you guys what I had done here, I started painting a guitar. Now I actually painted my guitar. I have this supersonic, it's a Squire supersonic guitar, and I decided to just draw it out in pencil and paint it. And at the bottom of the guitar on the original print, it was an acoustic guitar, and it was on fire just around the top, like right here. So I added the fire, and it also had at the bottom was this little skull. Now this skull is one I actually drew. This is the same color scheme that it was in the original picture, but I just redrew it in ink and I painted it to match. So this is like a almost exact copy of it. It looks like perfect compared to how the original was, but it was at the bottom of the strings. Uh, so it was like this bird was coming out of the bottom, but I decided to put it on my guitar as like a sticker, as like an homage to the original. Now what's interesting about this is I decided to actually give it real strings. So if you look, see there's that? I actually took a needle and thread, it's kind of tied up in the back, and I put a string, I actually strung the guitar, and it actually like matches up, to, and it hits the pickups, there's actual like real, real strings on this thing. So it's kind of, that's again, I talked about mixed media in one of my first videos. Uh, a lot of the stuff I always used to dabble in was mixed media, it was not just paint on canvas, it was using different unconventional ideas to make something different. I don't, I don't like making the same stuff that everyone else does, I want it to be different and unique. So that was kind of where I did that. I put the strings on there to make it different. Now, in the other one was a, it was a hand, and it had an, it was a moon eyeball is what it was. So it was like a, just a curved moon, like very basic shaped moon, like a crescent. And in the center of it was actually like a very basic shaped eyeball. So I took that and kind of ran with it. I, before I put the hand down, I actually had done this, uh, this big circular shape. It was an eyeball. In the very first video, there's a link down below, where I did my piece about money, I painted Abraham Lincoln's eyeball, and I really, really liked that eyeball a lot, so I brought it back. I actually took that same eyeball, but I made it bigger, and I painted it here in the background first. And so I have that eyeball, and this earth and the moon were originally just uh, circles. They were blue circles, and the hand wasn't there. So I was like, so I've got the eyeball, and I did that first, and I added it in to make it look like it was ripping. You know, actually, one thing I should tell you, and I totally forgot, the whole space background, I painted first. What I did is I, uh, I drew this stuff out in pencil and then I covered it in masking tape and I painted the whole background, the whole green spacey stuff. Back when uh, I did this, I had my first Apple computer and it was when Leopard was out and they had just come out with a new feature called Time Machine and the background for Time Machine was this weird green space spiral and I loved the image so much. I was like, wow, I love that. So what I actually did was cover all this in masking tape and I painted my version of that space spiral and then I peeled away all the masking tape leaving the drawings but it left these like weird holes and you can actually if you look close you can see the texture of where I painted over it you can see where the, the tape was but it left these weird borders around everything because I didn't tape it exactly to the line which is why everything in here has that kind of border to it everything has that glow going around it so you have the blue glow the green glow and the red glows, that was because it was empty space that I didn't actually paint when I painted my giant space spiral. So that's, that's how that got there. But back to the hand. So I did the hand. Uh, in fact, I had the eyeball. You can kind of see it back there. And I made it, and I added the hand over it after the fact. But I used the moon. I wanted to make it more spacey. I was like, this needs to have space. So I painted my own little version of Earth inside of the big pupil. The little circle that would have been there where his eye is, I turned that into the moon because in the original it was a hand with the moon and an eyeball, so I kind of made that work in my own new way. This is my first time painting a hand, so I think it came out pretty good. It was actually based off my own hand. Uh, and I gave it that little aura right above it. Now the cool thing is if you look close, 
And you do have to look close. Maybe I'll show you in just a second if I can turn out the lights. But it actually glows in the dark. I went through and I painted over every blue line here, and I made them glow in the dark. Uh, so even this big blue earth in the center glows in the dark. The lines, I continued them through the hands, they glow in the dark. So you can't see it during the day, but at night when you turn everything off, it does glow and it's kind of cool looking. And last, I have the angel. On the other side of the picture was an angel, and this angel had a big red heart in the center. So I was, I'm obsessed with birds, and I really like birds. Like, I like painting birds. And I wanted to do this African crane, because I'd actually just taken some photos of one here at the Flamingo Hotel in Las Vegas. They had one. It was one of these crazy cranes. And I really liked it, and I have this picture of him. I was like, let me paint that. And this is, like, seriously my, like, fourth, I think, fourth painting. The other ones were three paintings that were one big thing, but this is the fourth painting I've ever made. And I really liked it. Like, I had a hard time making all these little feathers, and I don't love how they look now. Now I look at them, I'm like, God, I could have done way better. But, you know, this is years ago. This is when I was just getting started. And I just really like it. So I, I used this, I made this little red thing on his neck a little bit bigger, because to me that was matching the, uh, the angel with the halo. Because, you know, it's kind of like a bird. And he has his little halo, his golden crown, because the angel had his halo. So I was like, that's kind of the same. This is like my retelling, my version of that. And so, I think that's, that's pretty much it. Like, you guys, let me try and see if maybe we can get the glow in the dark to show up. There you go, see how it kind of glows? And the stars glow as well. Look, it glows. It glows. It's glowing. Look, see how much it glows? All of this stuff glows in the dark. It's really crazy looking glowy well guys that's gonna wrap it up for this video thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you like learning about my original artwork let me know down in the comments below if you want to see more of it i actually plan on doing a bit more there's a couple more paintings that i can show off to you guys let me know what you think down in the comments below is there something you'd be interested in owning a print of or even purchasing the original let me know because i want to move some art i'm trying to move get into a house so i need to sell some things not only to make space but the extra money wouldn't hurt either um, so yeah, I'm trying to get rid of some of this old artwork. Let me know down in the comments below if you're at all interested, and I will get back to you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.